question at the end. My real question is, will I ever see myself as Christ does? Um, I don't think so. And, I mean, you're not God, so whatever he sees is always going to be more than you can see, just kind of reasonably, right? But there's something more here. Um, you're not supposed to see yourself. We weren't made to see ourselves. It's a complete fabrication. And the idea that, like, modern life is about finding yourself is the greatest lie that there is. Like, <laughs> pretty sure I'm right here. No. Um, and, and, but I don't know who I am. And I, I struggle with this all the time. But that's a lie. That's just it. It's sophistry. The, the idea that you don't know who you are is because you've believed too many lies, not because you haven't found the truth. Right? The truth is underneath and needs to be have the lies removed. Hmm? So stop trying to see yourself. When Christ awakens you, he awakens you to see others. If you're going to see yourself in that picture, it's always going to be how you hurt others. And it's going to be how there's a need to diminish yourself, less of yourself that you might see the other because yourself is inflamed and you're, you're, you're over the top. You got too much of you in the first place. Uh, you're not made to see yourself. So uh, I have a couple other verses here to, to point you to. Um, but I think the first one, it might be like the next over is Hebrews 2, 6 to 9. Um, it's pretty key, pretty key here uh, for the idea of what we're supposed to see. Hebrews 2, um, where it says, uh, you have put, verse 8, it says, you have put all things in subjection under his feet. This is the finishing of a quote. Um, the section begins, by the way, you know, what is man? You want to ask, who am I? What is man that you are mindful of him? Same question, kind of. Although it's asking it of Jesus. Now, what is Jesus? How, how on earth, God, did you incarnate? You have put all things in subjection under his feet. <clears throat> and then he comments, the author of the Hebrews comments on this, uh, I believe it's a psalm. Uh, For in that he put all in subjection under him, he left nothing that is not put under him. Right? So Christ has all authority in heaven and earth. But now we do not yet see all things put under him, including you. Hmm? But we see Jesus, who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of the death, crowned with glory and honor that he, by the grace of God, might taste death for everyone. So your, your question, will I ever see myself as Christ? Does No, but you're going to see Christ. And on that day, when you awaken from the dead, you're not going to be like, oh, look at me. You're going to be like, Jesus and his people, us, we, right? We, us. And only in us does me exist. And it's not as though it's wrong to recognize you're a me and you're an I and you have an identity and an ego and a body you should care for. All that's true. But what you're trying to do to see myself as Jesus does is you're, you're really trying to put yourself on a pedestal. That's just never going to happen. And it'd be bad if it did. It'd be bad if you did. You know? um, rather, far better to see Jesus in your neighbor than to see yourself as Jesus does. Yeah. So uh, some more Psalms since you're already praying them, you know. Uh, Psalm 139, which I don't have there for you, Meredith, at all, because it's 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 really long and there's a lot to it. Um, but I'm going to say that that entire psalm, uh, you have searched me and know me. You know my sitting up, my rising. Uh, you understand my thoughts from afar. You comprehend my path, right? All, all my days are written in, in your, your works. Uh, you put my tears in the bottle. You knew me in the secret place. You're a Christian. There's nothing that surprises God about you. There's nothing he doesn't already know. You wouldn't be discovering the righteousness of God and the fear of God if he didn't do that for you. And so understand that this too is a gift. Your fear of your past sins is a gift. And it's a gift of knowing that it's covered by him. He, he saw you while you were doing it and he didn't strike you down then. He enabled you to live in your sin. He supported you in your sin at great expense to himself, mind you, in order that he might bring you out of it. Yeah. So um, keep on going. <laughs> keep on going and remember that the word righteous doesn't mean I've earned it. Doesn't mean I've earned it. It means it's been given. It's been given. And every Christian in the world is that. And if you're not one, you can be. It's free. You are. Unless you reject it. And that's that's a whole different little scenario there. Those who are hardening their hearts against the obvious gift of everlasting life in Jesus Christ. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia.